Okay. So it's not really very long for me to not make a video, right? What, like three days? Um, but I actually have a point to make. Um, relative to the video that I put up before, I put up a video saying that people that are shy need to be more extreme, right? This, in some cases, is true if you're really a shy person. But someone like myself, I mean, as someone who maybe isn't as shy as I used to be, my issue is that I'm prone to extremeness and I'm prone to rushing and I'm prone to being quite forceful and in my desperation to change things and make things happen the way I want them to, I can do the right thing with the wrong spirit. So I can essentially, you know, make a decision to do something that is the right thing to do for my life, to make everything better. But then I'll do it with a very forceful heartless gait, you know, I'll just be like, right, well, sort of militaristic attitude of just like, cut it off, you know, like, it's very common, a lot of people follow that kind of law and advice, but as someone that's grown more sensitive to the way that these kind of things work, um, and as someone who can't deny the significance about uh, of the way that you do things because because look this is the thing you will hear from certain kinds of people that just force it in place and when you're in a certain mindset i don't know why how the mechanisms of this work that works in certain places being really forceful works but when you're healing or i don't know what it is i don't know what it is i think once you've got i don't know i think if you've gone too far in a certain direction like i have you start seeing how obnoxiously obvious it is that even though you might be doing the right thing it's causing harm you know it, it's like so many people that have had near-death experiences report doing all the right things to make sure that they don't die and actually it making them worse but when they did it in the right spirit and with the right energy and with the right love towards themselves that same process works for them and so my point is is that once you're hip like i am to how the spirit of the, the spirit in which you do things really matters like the spirit in which you, it really 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 does like if you're doing something out of love for yourself and because this is the thing i mean i took a break a mini break it's not been very long but i've been taking a break out of love for myself right i've been like okay i'm not gonna use the fucking computer for 30 days cool but the way i've been doing it has been not really that loving you know and I'm prone to making, I'm prone to extremism in a bad way. Because the extremism I'm kind of promoting in the video that I made before, I think is a kind of extremism that can help people that aren't extreme enough or take risks. But I have been prone to extremism that causes more problems than it solves. And I know there are people that preach the power of extremism in and and they are shameless in it and they and they don't see any flaw you know the david goggins is of the world just force it into place you know but i actually think there's something wrong with that because once you're more sensitive and more aware of the subtle signs that life gives you you realize that you're actually steamrolling your way through life and destroying things that could teach you stuff and and that's what happened to me because I'm three, four days, I'm technically four days deep into my um, detox fast of not using the computer. And I've realized that I'm actually doing it with the wrong spirit. Like, although, and, I, and, and, and it's true, I'm doing the right thing. And I did it because I love myself because yeah, I've done this purely out of self-love. Like, I, I just wanted to to just quit a bad addiction that I had because I thought that being using the computer was an addiction that I should just stop, right? And it's probably something I need to monitor and control a bit more, not just stop cold turkey because, I mean, I make good music and I I like posting stuff and I like, you know, I like doing stuff online and, you know, it's fun, but I just need to stop or, I don't know, figure something out, figure a more loving way out, perhaps, or something because, you know, stopping just suddenly like that, it's just made me aware of how in general, that kind of attitude of heartlessly cutting something out in pursuit, you say, I say, of wanting to do the right thing and heal myself or whatever, but 
it's funny because I'm not heartless to anyone else, but I'm very heartless in my approach towards self-help and in so doing I'm actually very heartless towards myself and actually in being heartless towards myself I am indirectly being quite heartless towards other people and so people respond in turn I don't know I mean if anything's worth mentioning as well to wrap up like the dream I had last night was one where um I met someone that was an advisor to me and we were sharing food but then you know, it was, it was like something akin to him saying like, no, nah, dude, I don't want to invite you around because, you know, you kind of use me up, you know. And then just get, and then and then just realizing, oh, like, like the whole dream, it was almost like there were point. oh my God, it was the craziest dream. But I felt like it, ex- it was the craziest dream, but it, it made a point so clearly. The whole dream, there was stuff going on around me all the time but I couldn't focus on any of it because I was so busy trying to get a point across that like I would just go from here to there but not ever really able to enjoy any of it or understand the meaning behind it. I knew I was seeing stuff. I knew I was going places, all kinds of places, but I wasn't really able to truly appreciate it because I was coming at it with this completely destructive mindset of just like, no, nope, gotta do the right thing. Gotta, I, I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm on a mission. So, uh, you know, and it's like, well, way to just phlegm in your life's face. You know, way to just spit in life's eyes, because they're on a mission. Okay, cool, great mission, man. You, you, you're ignoring everything, and so the dream was like, it wouldn't let me focus on anything, and so I'd know, I'd be aware of the fact. Oh, there's a scene happening here. There's something supposed to be happening here. I'm supposed to be getting information, but nothing would come because it was basically saying you're so determined to make a point. You're so determined. Because look, I will say, I'm a little bit upset about how. I'm upset at the lack of progress. I'm upset at the fact that like. Although I might know I'm capable of doing very good things, you know, as of late, not as of late, like my record on this channel is just, it's it's fine. You see, see, this is the problem, dude. I'm really hard on myself, like exceptionally hard on myself. I've got that fucking samurai, I'm half Japanese, I've got a fucking samurai sword and I'm ready to use it on myself real quick, you know what I mean? I'm ready to just sh- like whew, cut my fucking arm off <laughs> or whatever, you know, like I'm just, I'm I'm cold, I'm heartless. And I think it's probably because I've had to be, or what, who knows why, but that, that's one of the problems. You know, I can be real fucking heartless and cold because in the name of doing the right thing, you know. And so, yeah, like that dream was really, I mean, it, it was barely a dream. It's almost like the whole dream was, it was hardly a dream. Like I'd, I'd my eyes, like I'd try and I'd see something and then it would fail, fade away quicker than I'd be able to interpret. It's like, oh, so I think I'm in a Japanese, I think I'm seeing something Japanese oh yeah, this is like a Japanese scene, but it's fading away, and then, and like, I'd see like, these guys on a swing, swinging back and forth, but I'd walk past them so quickly, I wouldn't even be able to appreciate any of it, it's like, all this shit would be happening, and all this stuff would be going on, it's like, it was a very interesting dream that just happened, but the, the pacing was wrong, and it's almost as if I ran, the metaphor for the dream was that I just ran through the entire thing so quickly that I missed everything, and I think that's what I do with life, and I think that's the kind of person that I can be. I can be so desperate to get ahead, and no, you know, so eager to. And so, yeah, my this video is to temper my previous assignment to people, which is to be more extreme. It's like, yeah, sure, if you're real timid and shy, be more extreme because your your most extreme will be like just the right amount. But for someone who is too extreme like myself, I probably need to calm the fuck down because I'm very impatient. I'm very, I'm hard on myself and in turn I end up being very hard on others. And I don't realize that the way that I'm harsh to myself, I end up taking on others. I don't realize that, you know, I wonder why people might be cold to me. And it's like, it's because I'm fucking cold, man. Like I'm really cold, but I don't, I, but it's habit almost. Like I'm, I'm very well versed in being an icy fucker because maybe because it happened to me, I don't know. Like maybe th- things happen to me and, I interpret it that way. I don't know what it is. I just know that I'm good at doing it and it causes me a lot of problems actually. (laughs) Um, Because there's a big difference between what you see me do sometimes, which is me like full of energy in life, sharing stuff, being crazy and funny and happy. And then there's like, 
you know, the desperation to be taken seriously. And, you know, a lot of the big things I've said, you know, I want to make them come true. You know, I want to do great things. Sure. But like that desperation comes in, you know, you know, I really want to show you guys. I'll, I'll show you fuckers. I'll show you guys what you've seen me crying and depressed and confused. I'll fucking show you guys. You don't know fucking nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, man. There's a part of me that's like that, but I get nothing. I get nowhere from that. I don't get anything from that kind of outlook because although like <laughs> I can get passionate and be like, yeah, you guys don't fucking know me. Fuck you. Whatever. You know, like I can get really angry about it and be like, oh, David Gogginsy about it, but I've come too far in a loving direction to be able to apply that logic without seeing the actual harm that I'm causing. I think if you do it enough, if you do that enough, you can get so set in your way that life kind of works around you, but it also diminishes greatly. I think there isn't enough time or study done on how these kind of mindsets, I mean, if it works with them, sure, but I know as someone who who is more sensitive to like the world around me and and stuff like I have caused a lot of harm more harm than I've caused good in my extremism my extremism as someone who is too extreme you know if you're shy or kind of meek person be more extreme because you balance right but for me I'm too extreme I can be too much I can be too hardcore and it causes more problems than it solves at least I think so anyway. And so here's to <clears throat> breaking early a 30-day record. A, th- a goal of, you know, not using the computer for 30 days. Well, I did it for four and I might try and cut down or something. Or maybe I'll compromise some more. But it wasn't... The goal is fine. It's like, okay, you're doing it because you love yourself and you want to get off technology. Great, good. But the sentiment... And, and even in my mind, I was like you know, I'm doing it because I love myself and all this kind of stuff, like fucking looking in my eyes and crying and stuff. And that's, wow, man, wow, wow, that's beautiful, amazing stuff. But there's a heartless element and it's causing problems. So with that in mind, I'm, I don't know, man, it's weird. It's weird because there are people that will hear that and be like, oh, you failed. It's like, you know what? I've come too far to know that there's actually more to life than getting what you want or or actually even achieving goals because if you don't do something for the right reason or in the right spirit that's the most meaningful thing if you don't do something in the right spirit it's actually doing it will cause more harm you know like oh man that's actually something that needs to be emphasized i think the main takeaway from what i'm trying to say is that like you can do the right thing but if you do it in the wrong spirit, it will actually cause more harm than good. Let that be a message, especially to the David Gogginsy type tough guy mentality people out there that I understand and have related to before and thought like. It's like doing the right thing is great if you do it in the right spirit but if you do it in the wrong spirit you can cause you will most likely cause more harm than good actually so yeah that's something i wanted to say because because i think it matters yeah